episode that I didn't want to film. Definitely didn't want to. But yeah, you heard the expensive noises last week. Now we know why. Nobody knew why before, but now we know. And uh, let's just go one by one what uh, what happened. And uh, the, the main culprit that we saw that uh, happened, we saw what came out of it. That's one thing. We never understood why, because all the parts were good and uh, everything should be fine. And we can't blame the tuner. Of course we can, but we never will. We can't blame the engine builder. So we had to find someone to blame. Anyhow, mm, noises. Come look. So, this is what we saw first. Planus. Planus ara. That the rod is has gone outside. Now, mm, still parts falling out. Chunks of parts. Yes. So, as we can see, there's nothing in cylinder cylinder number four. So the mist might have gone somewhere. How we found it, we have footage from yesterday that we took it apart. This is a moment when you don't need something to hold when you are releasing the flywheel because uh, a rod holds it against the block. You see what has happened, this nice forged piston has disintegrated. We found it inside something like this. It was crooked and what we found out that it was broken on the, on the compression side, so on, on, upon push. It was broken, and our idea is that uh, it happened because of something else happened. Yeah, so it pushed, broke the piston pin, and then rod disintegrated and went boom. Caused all of these metal shards, broke the tray, and broke everything underneath it. What it did, it... Uh, First suspicion was that it was an oil oiling problem, but as we can see, the crankshaft is perfect. Perfect, apart from the place where it has flown with shards and everything, so. <laughs> so the bottom end of the engine is completely toast. There's nothing we can use out of it. The crank is gone, the block is gone, the rods are gone, even the third, even the one, two, threes, they all have some minor uh, damage from the parts flying around within. So basically this has all gone to shit. We can possibly reuse the headstuds, but we have to measure them because one was loose from uh, by the cylinder that sustained the most damage. Oh, the damage. What we can see here is that some pistons have score marks from the valves which basically has happened because at some point the camshaft wasn't camshafting. Let's call it this way. And that, with that, we can come to the main thing why all of this happened. And so as somebody said to me, this is a moment where you have to buy the lottery ticket because for this to happen, it has to be uh, some sort of uh, I don't know, once in a lifetime uh, situation where something like that happens. So, yes, this is too short for a camshaft. It shouldn't be like this. It should be like this. So what caused, ultimately caused all of it is that the fourth cylinder of the exhaust camshaft broke broke off and caused the mayhem what we think happened is that the camshaft broke the exhaust valves stayed closed stayed closed at that point the cylinder filled with fuel hydro locked the cylinder then the piston stopped and then the rod was still pushing all the without the, the cylinder with all the fuel in it and then it just as a normal water hydro lock it just broke the head so what it ultimately did is when it broke 
it stopped moving the valves in the fourth cylinder and these stayed closed. And it stopped like this. And with the movement, with inertia, it started to grind with the low lobe, uh, with the non vtec lobe, it started to grind into the head. And footed full of metal shards. So yeah, out of this, the head is almost toast. We don't know what's with the valves because hydrolock is a thing. There's a thing that might have bent the valves in the, in the, in the fourth cylinder. We know that at, at least these rockers in the cylinder number four are done. Uh, the head is ground up with the, with the displacement of the, uh, of the camshaft. So that's toast as well. Out of all of it, possibly we have only valve springs left. It is sad and uh, we're still winning the, the, the competition for the most expensive morning. Continues. Continues. If the competition continues, we are still winning it. Still ahead. We're still ahead. So, yeah. Speculations were different. We're, 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 there's several speculations about how, what happened, whether a, a valve broke or something came loose or whatever. Nothing of the, out of the first speculations of the last week were true. Mm -hmm. Nobody even suspected that this could have happened. Yeah. We don't know whether it is a bad part or it was a, uh, a production error or what, or it wasn't treated right or uh, because something like this, I haven't found much information on the internet that that could have happened and uh, that, that there has been uh, situations like this where, where the camshaft breaks and does like that. Also, since the, the, the everything else in the engine was quite, quite healthy and good, um, Normally it would bend the, bend the rod, possibly, but since the rods were forged as well, so they made it through and then, then broke the piston. We can still reuse the cam gears. Cam gears are fine. Intake camshaft is fine. It's all good, but um, I wouldn't want to use a camshaft from this set anymore. I wonder why. Uh, because I have very, 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 very bad uh, experience with the exhaust camshaft. Apart from that, the head seems to be more than fine. Uh, if we would look from the head from the, from the underneath, we would see that, okay, the, 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 the mixture might, might be a bit rich, but still, and we can see, we can see that Ford Cylinder has only washed itself with fuel without the, without the compression and without the, 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 the booms. But we don't know whether we can reuse it or maybe we can need some four valves in the cylinder number four or even can the, can the camshaft bed be saved after this because there's a lot of metal shavings everywhere. The head is full of them. So yeah, a good cleaning and a measuring of the valves should show us what is what. Is what. Um, be warned, things like this happen. That wasn't an oiling issue, that wasn't a tune issue, that wasn't a builder's issue, that it was just a bad part. Nobody suspected this, a fluke, yeah. An error that could have happened on low RPM and would be saved and just would be started start to miss, start to misfire and then just go and, and work. But in this case, it happened at around 7200. And at 7200, there's 12, 12 revs per second. And with 12 revs, you can fill it with fuel and just boom it, as we did, as we did. Learn from us. There's nothing to learn, just, yeah. Be more sure about the parts you order. And it wasn't a bad producer parts and, and, and it's kind of known in the world and, and, and Honda people use them, but yeah, just a fluke. Maybe should have gone Tomei but, or Toda, but uh, in that case, that would be, if that the same would happen, it just would be even more expensive. Even more expensive. So what's next? It's 11th of May. It's a week after Kaunas. Happy Mother's Day to all. And I'm starting to source some parts. That won't be in 
B engine. Engine for rig won't be a B engine. It won't be a B 16B. To source that, it's either way too expensive or it's not even way too expensive. It's like illogically expensive. You can get those engines in Japan for half the money that they are being sold in Europe. So that's a waiting game. That's two months. So what they're thinking is that we will diagnose whether this head can be used and possibly find the B16A block, throw together a uh, bottom end with a similar compression, just with the shorter rod, and try to reuse this head, find the camshaft, possibly not from the same producer as this one was, but then again, how unlucky can I be? Can I get <laughs> two manufacturing defects at once? In one year? Okay. Yeah, from, one company. from one company. Yeah. Uh, anyways, we'll see what's available. Some people have contacted me already and, 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 and offered me their blocks and uh, cranks. I just need to find and buy the rotating assembly for it. If this head can be reused, then we're good. Then we just need uh, a good cleanup, uh, a refresh and four valves. If not, then I would need a head as well. Whether I find a B16B or a B18 or whatever, a B-series head. We have the very, very limited time to build it, to tune it and to be ready for Riga. So if you have any uh, B-series engine for sale at a good price, hit me up. Uh, I might even uh, get one uh, pre-built, but um, we're not losing hope yet. There's still some time uh, ahead of us. If I get lucky and I source all the parts in, in the next week, then possibly we can board the block and, and, and prepare it for pistons and, and put it together and be ready to go back in hopefully a week before the, uh, the rig event. So yeah, that is this. Uh, short and, and uh, not quite common video from us, but uh, we thought that you might want to know what happened with the Honda engine and uh, why did it break without any notice, prior notice. See ya, like, share, subscribe and see ya.